Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making fried egg rolls. I've been seeing this all over my timeline, honestly, this week, and that's what I'm craving. And this will be the first fried recipe. I haven't fried food. I really don't like frying food just because it takes so long for the oil to heat up, but I digress. Um, two egg rolls. We're gonna do a spinach artichoke egg roll, which is just a spinach dip in an egg roll, fried it up. And then we're gonna do an avocado egg roll. It's a lot of prep work that goes into it, but to make the stuffing, you kind of just throw it in a bowl and it comes together in five minutes. Um, so let's get started on that because it is a lot of prep work, like I said, and we're gonna be here in a minute. So nonetheless, guys, like always, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. All the ingredients will be in the caption below. Let's get to it. With the spinach and artichoke dip, it's easy, okay? Just a couple ingredients, all right? So we're going to need some spinach. You can use fresh frozen. I'm using bag and just take that, dump that in there. I always make a mess. Dump that in there, about half the bag. You can always add more spinach too if you're a heavy spinach person. Got the spinach in the bowl. We'll set this to the side real quick. And we're gonna bring back our artichoke. So this has just been a can of artichokes. Um, I drained them. And I'm just gonna give them a rough chop on my cutting board. No rhyme or reason to it. And then just take your artichokes and just, just, just dice them up. You can do how big, how small, it's definitely up to you. Chop them up, let them do their thing. Now that we got it cut up, just take them and throw them in there with the spinach. Bring it back our bowl. Now we just add the rest of the ingredients. It's, it's really easy at this point. So we got fresh grated mozzarella, add that. I'm telling you guys, this comes together five, 10 minutes, at least a prep work and then you know how frying is. Add the sour cream to the mix and the sour cream is at room temperature, add that. And then we're going to need some cream cheese. The cream cheese is also at room temperature, just so it's easy to mix up. If it's not, then obviously it's gonna be just a little bit harder to mix up. Open that up. And we're just going to place that right in there. I might need a bigger bowl too, honestly. Okay, add all that. I forgot to grab some garlic at the store, so we're gonna add some garlic paste. But fresh garlic, I think will work a little bit better in this. Add that to it. And like always, this is roasted garlic, the best garlic. And the last thing we're gonna add is Parmesan cheese. I would've added this first with the mozzarella cheese, but obviously you see it already is pre-grated. They didn't have the actual like block of it, but guys, it, it honestly really doesn't matter. You can honestly just buy pre-grated cheese for all of it, and I think it will still come out. Ugh. Can't ever open these. Ugh. There we go. But, add all that to the mixture. It's a nice little bit, eyeball it. No exact measurements, though. And now we're gonna do the impossible, mix all this up. Get in there. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, I really don't. I did not think that through. Okay, I need a bigger spoon for sure. Bum, bum, bum. I don't have a bigger spoon. Instead of for going for a bigger spoon, I'm gonna switch from a spatula to an actual spoon and hopefully that makes it just a little bit easier. Man, forget this. You see this? Get you some gloves. I'm finna get down and dirty. That's gonna take way too much time. But just mix it all in. If you had a bigger bowl, you probably wouldn't run into this problem. But for some reason, I did not get a bigger bowl. But the next run, the avocado egg roll, that one you definitely don't need. Oh, making a mess. You don't need a super big bowl for that one. Okay. And then as we're mixing, we're just mixing this up till it's all combined. Once it looks all combined to you and everything is evenly incorporated, then you can just set this to the side and we're gonna start on the avocado egg roll, which is gonna be pretty easy. A little bit of prep work, but flavor's gonna be great. We got it mixed up, but I forgot to add a couple things. Before I mixed it all up, so just some things of fresh, black pepper, and then always a little bit of salt. We'll give this the final mix to combine and then we'll get started on the avocado egg roll. And what's good about this, if you don't wanna make egg rolls, just put this in a pan and bake it at 350 for 30, 45 minutes, you got spinach and artichoke dip just like that. So if you don't wanna use, even if you don't wanna use all of it for the egg rolls, save some of it, throw it in the freezer and then when it's time, bam. You got spinach and artichoke dip ready to go at your disposal. And you can even add like some shrimp to this. You can do some chorizo. 
damn, that sounds really good. But the possibilities are endless. Now for the avocado egg rolls, get you another bowl. We're gonna set this to the side. We got a lot of stuff to chop up, so that's what we're gonna start off by doing first. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna put some cilantro down, roll it up. <laughs> and you just wanna give this a good chop. When I used to work at Chipotle, I used to chop the cilantro every single day. That was my first job and I was a chef there. That's probably my favorite job too. I eat that every single day. And not every single day, that's a lot. I eat it every Sunday and I wish I could eat it every day. So Chipotle, if you're out there and I make it big, when I make it big, I want that sponsorship. Okay, okay, and we're gonna add probably a couple tablespoons of that in there. We'll go, we'll just add all of it, honestly. The next thing we're going to add is a red onion. We're not going to use all of it, but we're going to chop it in half. I don't even know how much I'm going to use. I'm going to eyeball this because I don't want like big chunks or a lot in it. I don't know why I just wipe this off to the side like it's a trash can, but I'll have to clean that mess up later. But chop the root off of it. Put the layers. I always like to put that first layer too. I feel like that always, I don't know, it acts up for me sometimes. So peel that, get rid of that. And to dice the onion, I'm gonna make three cuts going this way. And I'll probably make like eight to 10 cuts of it going vertically, just so I can get like a nice small fine dice on it. Cause I don't want big bites when I bite into my, um, bite into the egg roll. So we're gonna try to dice this up as small as possible. And that Chipotle, we used to have to cut so many onions. Oh my goodness, I would be in tears back there for real. Just brings back memories. And then, just bam, a nice small dice. Cool, that looks like enough to me. And we're gonna add, just throw that in there. Super easy, okay? Get rid of this, and then I'll show you what else we're adding. The next ingredient we're going to add, sun-dried tomatoes. Bam, these are, I've been wanting to make a sun-dried tomato pasta. I'm gonna have to do that one day. It's gonna be fresh though. So grab you a bunch of, making a mess too, doing it, putting my hands in there. Guys, like always, if your hands are not clean, do not cook with your hands until you clean them. You shouldn't even be in the kitchen if your hands aren't clean. But take a good amount of those. Dang, I made that messy. Let me wash my hands real quick. And now you just wanna give these a nice, quick chop. Oh, this smells so good. I'm telling you, a sun-dried tomato pasta or like a sun-dried tomato basil, not basil, but pesto. Is it pesto still, if it's red? But something like that. I don't know the technical name for it, but I've been thinking of a recipe for that because I love pasta so much. But take all that and just add that to the bowl as well. It's gonna give it a very nice color trail. So you got the green, the red onions. Now you got like this darkish red tomatoes. Good. The last ingredient we're going to need is some avocados. Take the sticker off, of course. But nonetheless, when you're picking avocados, you want to make sure you press into it. And if it presses back, it's right and it's done. If it's hard, don't get it. If it's super mushy, definitely don't get it. But take it, slide it up all the way around. Open it up. Bam. Perfect green. That is, I love avocados. Take your knife, pull the thing out. And then you just scoop it in there. Take your spoon, bring your bowl back, and you just wanna take that and just add it straight to it and repeat. You got four avocados to do that with. As Soon as I'm done, I will see y'all again. Okay, scoop out that last avocado. Bam. And now you just wanna mash all this up. We got all that out the way. Now we're gonna add just a few things. I'm gonna drop that, y'all see that? I'm gonna add some fresh cracked pound there. I can't ever speak. Some pepper, and then like always guys, just a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon, just like so. And now you just wanna mash this up till everything is well combined. I need to get a bigger spoon. I'm switching from a small spoon to a wooden spoon down the sink, put that to the side. And now just begin to mash this and break it up. I don't know why I like to make my cooking harder than it needs to be. Cause cooking is really not that hard. It really isn't. Takes time, patience, get everything all well incorporated. It doesn't have to be super fine, but you wanna have it smooth enough where it fits in the egg roll. It doesn't like poke any holes either because you don't want all this 
falling out when you're frying it. And you can even bake these too. Or even air fry them too. I forget about the air fryer sometimes. All right, so before we put this in the egg roll, let's give this a quick taste and see how we're doing. This is where you adjust for salt, pepper. If you want to add any more seasonings, this is where you do it. Oh, that's good. That's going to be real good right there. Now we'll set this to the side. And now it's time for the hard part. These are the egg roll wrappers I'm using. Twin Dragon, not sponsored. Um, but we're going to open these up. And I also got a tray right next to me. I'm just going to set all the egg rolls on there when I get done. Getting started on an egg roll, obviously we're going to need an egg roll. And I got a little thing of water right next to me to seal the edges up. All right, take a nice tablespoon or two and then just place that right there. We're gonna be testing out so I can see how much I should put on it or not. I don't wanna bite into it and it'd be empty. So add a good little bit, add a nice little log. Get your towel, wipe your hands off before you roll up. <laughs> take them edges. And I like to fold over first. Roll, take that edge, tuck it, tuck it, and then you just roll it up. Cool, and then once you get to that little corner piece, take your fingers, wet the edge a little bit to seal it up. And boom, nice, easy egg roll. So just now you're just rinsing and repeating with every single egg roll with all the different flavors. And I just realized, realized I haven't been talking for like the last five, 10 minutes. I just rolled six egg rolls and didn't say a single word. I really be locked in when I be cooking, for real. I be in my zone, perfection is key. But roll them all up. And once I get to the last one, I'll show you what to do next. For the avocado egg roll, it's the same thing. Grab your avocado filling. Get as much as you little as you like. We're doing big boys. Only Gorilla Fingers around here, if you know what I mean. Take it, you gotta put your skills to the test now. Roll it up, I like to tuck it, tuck it over that way. Same thing, press the edge down, make it look pretty, and then just roll it up. This one's a little softer than the last one, so be a little bit more gentle. Water the edges, and then you just roll it up, and you have yourself a night. Once you're doing this, while you're doing this, matter of fact, go ahead and start preheating your oil to 350 because that's the temp we're gonna be frying at. So you can knock out two things at once, okay? A little bit of water. Let me stop talking so I can focus. Bang. And roll it up. I don't eat egg rolls that often. Even when I go to like Chinese spots, I really rarely ever get egg rolls. So this has really been my first time actually like sitting down, enjoying them, eating them, and trying them. And, I think they're gonna be pretty good. Some of my favorite stuff, I love spinach and artichoke dip. I love avocados. Anything to do with avocado is crazy. I love it. Roll it up, pack it. See, this is a little one. That's okay, little things have their place too. Okay, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> so, our oil is at temp, our egg rolls rolled up beautifully. Now, we're just frying them up. Two to three minutes till they're golden brown and you'll be good. Get it, place, I like to place it seam side down. Just put it in there, let it do its thing. Don't overcrowd either. Bam, okay. I'll show you when it gets golden. We'll flip it over, let it cook a couple minutes and then we're eating large. Also, I am turning the oven on to 200 degrees just to keep everything warm when they do come out. I'm gonna put them on a wire rack too so they can stay crispy. Okay, we'll turn it over. The other side, starting to get nice and golden brown. Be careful now. Take your time and just continue to fry them up. Okay, bam. Now, as you can see, they're nice and golden brown. Both sides, take them out and rinse and repeat. Okay, now let's get ready to eat. Look, this was the thumbnail. Look how beautiful these are. Crispy. Oh, I can't wait to bite into it. But I wanna cut into it first and see what we're looking like. So let's see, this is a good one. They've been sitting for a little bit, cooling off. Let's see. Don't embarrass me, please. 
Okay, let's see what they're looking like. Hopefully it looks good on the inside. They've been sitting for a little bit. So just don't embarrass me. Oh, y'all hear that crisp? That's the avocado one, okay? Didn't want to bite into that one first. But look at that. Sheesh. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. Now, hopefully this is the spinach and artichoke dip. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Look at that. Sheesh. Now that's spinach and artichoke right there. Cause it's like the chip on the outside. Oh my God. Oh, this smells so good. All right, I'm gonna scooch our back in. Let's get ready to eat. Woo, we, I'm ready to eat this. <laughs> Y'all hear the crispiness? Crispy, looks beautiful. Spinach and artichoke dip first. Cheers, I'm going for it. Cause I'm, my mouth is watering. That one was amazing. Tastes just like spinach artichoke. Oh my God, this, I think this one might be my favorite one actually. Let's go for it. Mm. That was really good for real. Like I'm actually shook about it. I'm not like surprised, but I am surprised because I've never had a homemade egg roll. And every time I go to like a Chinese takeout spot, I mean, it's an egg roll, you know, but geez, make this yourself. You'll love it. You can just wrap them all up and even just throw them in the freezer when, and whenever you want them next, bake them, air fry them, fry them up, you name it, you got them. And the rest of the spinach dip, I'll put it in my freezer. I don't know when I'm gonna have that next, but it's gonna come in handy. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Hit that subscribe button. We going up, we doing the thing. I'm telling y'all, we going up. Remember, eat great food. I'll see you next week. Peace.